hide their strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. On today's episode, we are going to see real events that have become great mysteries in Japan. Unlike urban legends, they are things that really exist and not stories told of monsters and demons. In Japan we have historical events, pyramids and many other mysteries to discuss in this video. One of Japan's greatest mysteries is found on the island called Yonegune and was found by the Japanese diver, called Kihachi Koaritek in 1995 where researchers claim that the pyramids may be more than 11,000 years old. At the bottom of the sea on the island of Yonegune is hidden a set of megalithic ruins totaling 28 square kilometers. One of the monuments is 600 feet wide and 90 feet high, totaling over 27 meters high and 182 meters wide. Some claim that these pyramids are from a civilization as old as, Sumeria, Egypt, India or China. Some have found similarities to Mesopotamian ziggurats, others even claim to be Atlantis, Lemuria or Mu. What do you think of this Japan mystery submerged stone structures lying just below the waters of Yonegune Jima are actually the ruins of a Japanese Atlantis, an ancient city sunk by an earthquake about 2000 years ago. That's the belief of Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist at the University of the Ryukius in Japan who has been diving at the site to measure and map its formations for more than 15 years. Each time he returns to the dive boat, Kimura said, he is more convinced than ever that below him rest the remains of a 5,000 year old city. The largest structure looks like a complicated, monolithic, stepped pyramid that rises from a depth of 25 meters 82 feet said kimura who presented his latest theories about the site at a scientific conference in june but like other stories of sunken cities kimura's claims have attracted controversy i'm not convinced that any of the major features or structures are man-made steps or terraces but that they're all natural, said Robert Scooch, a professor of science and mathematics at Boston, University who has dived at the site. It's basic geology and classic stratigraphy for sandstones, which tend to break along planes and give you these very straight edges, particularly in an area with lots of faults and tectonic activity and neither the Japanese government's agency for cultural affairs nor the government of Okinawa prefecture recognize the remains of Yonegune as an important, cultural property, said agency spokesperson Emiko Ishida. Neither of the government groups has carried out research or preservation work on the sites, she added instead leaving any such efforts to professors and other interested individuals. Yonegune Jima is an island that lies near the southern tip of Japan's Ryukyu Archipelago, about 75 miles, 120 kilometers, off the eastern coast of Taiwan. A local diver first noticed the Yonegune formations in 1986 after which a promontory on the island was unofficially renamed Izaki Hanto, or Ruins Point. The district of Yonegune officially owns the formations, 
and tourists and researchers can freely dive at the site. Some experts believe that the structures could be all that's left of Mu, a fabled Pacific civilization rumored to have vanished beneath the waves. On hearing about the find, Kimura said, his initial impression was that the formations could be natural. But he changed his mind after his first dive. Whoever created the city, most of it apparently sank in one of the huge seismic events that this part of the Pacific Rim is famous for, Kimura said the world's largest recorded tsunami struck Yonegunijima in April 1771 with an estimated height of more than 131 feet, 40 meters, he noted so such a fate might also have befallen the ancient civilization. Kimura said he has identified ten structures off Yonegune and a further five related structures off the main island of Okinawa. In total the ruins cover an area spanning 984 feet by 492 feet, 300 meters by 150 meters. The structures include the ruins of a castle, a triumphal arch, five temples, and at least one large stadium, all of which are connected by roads and water channels and are partly shielded by what could be huge retaining walls. Kimura believes the ruins date back to at least 5,000 years based on the dates of stalactites found inside underwater caves that he says sank with the city. And structures similar to the ruins sitting on the nearby coast have yielded charcoal dated to 1,600 years ago, a possible indication of ancient human inhabitants, Kimura added. But more direct evidence of human involvement with the site has been harder to come by. Pottery and wood do not last on the bottom of the ocean, but we are interested in further research on a relief at the site that is apparently painted and resembles a cow, Kimura said. We want to determine the makeup of the paint. I would also like to carry out subsurface research. Torauki an associate professor of seismology at Kobe University, supports Kimura's hypothesis. Aoki said that he has never seen tectonic activity having such an effect on a landscape either above or below the water. I've dived there as well and touched the pyramid, he said. What Professor Kimura says, is not exaggerated at all. It's easy to tell that those relics were not caused by earthquakes. Boston University's Skok, meanwhile, is just as certain that the Yonegune formations are natural. He suggests that holes in the rock, which Kimura believes were used to support posts, were merely created by underwater reddies scouring at depressions. Submerged stone structures lying just below the waters off Yonegunijimu are actually the ruins of a Japanese Atlantis, an ancient city sunk by an earthquake about 2,000 years ago. That's the belief of Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist at the University of the Ryukyus in Japan who has been diving at the site to measure and map its formations for more than 15 years. Each time he returns to the dive boat, Kimura said, he is more convinced than ever that below him rest the remains of a 5,000 year old city. The largest structure looks like a complicated, monolithic, stepped pyramid that rises from a depth of 25 meters, 82 feet, said Kimura who presented his latest theories about the site at a scientific conference in June. But like other stories of sunken cities, Kimura's claims have attracted controversy. I'm not convinced that any of the major features or structures are man-made steps or terraces, but that they're all natural, said Robert Scock, 
a professor of science and mathematics at Boston University who has dived at the site. Its basic geology and classic stratigraphy for sandstones, which tend to break along planes and give you these very straight edges, particularly in an area with lots of faults and tectonic activity. And neither the Japanese government's agency for cultural affairs nor the government of Okinawa prefecture recognize the remains of Yonegini as an important cultural property, said agency spokesperson Emiko Ishida. Neither of the government groups has carried out research or preservation work on the sites, she added, instead leaving any such efforts to professors and other interested individuals. Yonegini Jimu is an island that lies near the southern tip of Japan's Ryukyu Archipelago, about 75 miles, 120 kilometers, off the eastern coast of Taiwan. A local diver first noticed the Yonegini formations in 1986, after which a promontory on the island was unofficially renamed Izaki Hanto or Ruins Point. The district of Yonegini officially owns the formations, and tourists and researchers can freely dive at the site. Some experts believe that the structures could be all that's left of Mu, a fabled Pacific civilization rumored to have vanished beneath the waves. On hearing about the find, Kimura said, his initial impression was that the formations could be natural. But he changed his mind after his first dive. Whoever created the city, most of it apparently sank in one of the huge seismic events that this part of the Pacific Rim is famous for, Kimura said. The world's largest recorded tsunami struck Yonegunijima in April 1771 with an estimated height of more than 131 feet, 40 meters he noted, so such a fate might also have befallen the ancient civilization. Kimura said he has identified ten structures off Yonegini and a further five related structures off their main island of Okinawa. In total the ruins cover an area spanning 984 feet by 492 feet. 300 meters by 150 meters. The structures include the ruins of a castle, a triumphal arch, five temples, and at least one large stadium, all of which are connected by roads and water channels and are partly shielded by what could be huge retaining walls. He emphasizes that he is not accusing anyone of deliberately falsifying evidence. But many of the photos tend to give a perfect view of the site, making the lines look as regular as possible, he said. Scott also says he has seen what Kimura believes to be renderings of animals and human faces at the site. Professor Kimura says he has seen some kind of writing or images, but they are just scratches on a rock that are natural, he said. He interprets them as being man-made, but I don't know where he's coming from. But Kimuru is undeterred by critics, adding that the new governor of Okinawa prefecture and officials from the United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organization have recently expressed interest in verifying the site.